Just exactly five years ago, in September 2017, I uploaded my very first video here on the channel. And it was about flying into Hurricane Irma, right? You know, this happened in 2017 on September the 10th. And in this video, I was trying to fly in this 50 knots of wind in this Hurricane Irma. It didn't go all too well. You know, in this battle against the extreme winds of the Hurricane Irma, I just lost that one and I just completely crashed. Look at this. Jeez, almost 40 knots. Oh. Good video, of course, which is there 1 September 2017. And well, already guess what? Once again, it is September, so it's hurricane season. And right now, Hurricane Ian is hitting Florida, basically. Oh, pretty much to say the least, it already has. As of recording this video right now, the Hurricane Ian is right above Florida. It hit the coast of Florida between Fort Myers and Tampa at almost a category of five. A Cat 5 hurricane, really not bad. The hurricane caused massive destructions roundabout towns, and not even the, in the US, also in Cuba, as you can see. And first of all, I would like to pay big respects for all the people helping out, all the people being affected that this is totally a massive deal. All right, so that's it with a minute of silence. It's now time to fly into this hurricane. You know, that's what I'm always wondering when there's a storm outside. I mean, what happens if you fly a plane to there? Let's do that. Of course, with modern flight simulator technology, this is very simple. We even have a little, <laughs> look at this, maybe we have a little cloud animator right here. We can just spawn into Orlando International, for example. Let's go to uh, Orlando Executive right here and turn the flight conditions to live weather just to check out, well, what is it like right now in Orlando? You know, I do have to say I'm a little bit late to the party as of right now. The hurricane has calmed down quite a bit to a category one storm, but everybody, later on, we will try to fly in the proper hurricane as it was hitting the coast of Florida land. The Cat 5 thing. All right, um, spawning in. I see nothing but clouds. Let's see what Orlando's like. All right, welcome, welcome to the storm. Nothing to see here. We're spawned into our baby 737-600. I love this one. This will be the company of today's video. In a little tough plane, we need that for today. Let's get the flaps going here and just take off, really. So we can have some wind information here on the screen. That's only, of course, given when we have ground speed. So, all right, nothing to see here. Everything's all right. Okay, we've got 26 knots of tailwind. Straight tail. That is not great. That is really not great for flying. All right, nothing to see here. The 737, of course, as tough as it is, has taken off in the storm. It is a tad bit turbulent out here, but nothing to see at all here. You know, in this new update, we've got a bit of a newly designed map here in Microsoft, which I very much like. I just have to say that. But, but you know what? This is quite all right. It's coming back for Orlando's executive airport just to see what landing looks like. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was close to dying. Yeah, okay. It's safe to say that you shouldn't be doing crazy moves here in a storm like that. Look, we've got even a little bit of sunshine, a bit of a silver lining here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's very easy to stall out when you're flying at slow speeds in winds like this. Look, we've got a bunch of wind shear. Jesus, this is not really easy to fly at the moment. 30 knots of wind. It's Look at that turbulence. Jesus Christ. What is important in flying in these extreme weather is, first of all, not to fly at all. And second of all, to, to keep some speed at you just to keep you safe. It's coming for a little bit of a landing. It's not crashing that pond. All right. Don't sink, but I will, and it will land successfully. Look at those varying winds here. That's crazy. All right, come on. All right. Okay, that's been a, ooh, that's been a bit of a Reiner landing. I am so sorry. That's coming for a bit of a stop right here. Let's not try to die. Come on. Oh, Jesus. All right, everybody. The 737, what a safe flight. Yes, it's true. Landing gears are not big fans of big winds like this, but you know what? This actually, I think this was handled quite well. Very professional indeed. But of course, again, what we were just flying in was a storm of category one. Nothing really special. It's now time to maybe just replay time a little bit. Spawn into Tampa and fly down Fort Myers. Here was really where the hurricane hit really hard. 
Well, yeah, they're definitely not kidding right here. I mean, the National Hurricane Center reported winds of near 155 miles per hour. Central pressure of 937 millibar. I don't know what that means, honestly, but there's another story. This hurricane is definitely severe. Well, you know what? Let's plan a little bit of a flight indeed. You know what? That's actually probably a good idea. Let's fulfill a full flight from uh, Peter O'Night Airport. By the way, this small little airport is an airport near near Tampa, indeed. Um, and well, it's quite legendary because a C-17 once landed there accidentally. I made a video about it. So it's not got that long of runways, but that's another story. We're going to be landing here in St. Petersburg. Short flight, but let's do it. All right, who's ready to absolutely over do it. Well, let's first of all turn on this plane for sure. I turn on the APU right here. Nothing to see. Everything's okay. Turn on the fuel. Nothing to see. Also, let's turn on the panel brightness. Jesus Christ. I cannot see a single thing. Alright, APU is coming on as you can see right here. Let's get rid of all the ground service right here. Close the doors of the Noah's Ark. Right. Mm. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Alright, turn on the APU. There we go. Looking great. You know, let's turn also the dome light on so we can see more. All right, and it's now time to get the engines turned on. So, uh, let's get some fuel in here already. Just honestly, let's just get going right here. Turn the EP bleed on, and this will actually get going now. Mm -hmm, perfect, according to plan right here. Looking great. We can see spinach on the outside. I wonder how this truck isn't flying away, or us. Anyway, we can see some spinach in the engines. Nothing to see. All right, now turn left engine on. Looking great. And oh, well, that's happening. We can already start taxiing. I really don't really see a single thing, so our map will be our big help today to find our way to our destination. All right, let's do this. All right, just a little taxi operation, nothing to see. We might just crash into the TBM. It doesn't really matter at this point anyway. All right, now let's turn the yaw damper on. Plane's actually pretty much ready for flying. But let's see if the storm is ready for the flying of Swissizer 1. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what, I don't really care, shut up. Mm, on the sea. All right, welcome to the runway. All right, it's now officially time to fly out of here, out of the storm. And well, you know what, that's already in good hopes. Turn on the windshield wiper, because that's probably a good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, come on. Shut up, takeoff warning. Doesn't really matter, it's now time to come on. Literally, the takeoff configuration is not our biggest problem today. All right, here we go. We have, uh, we've taken off. It's all right. Oh my god. Oh my, we've did barely. I don't even see what, what just happened. All right, we do have pretty severe winds here once again. I don't really see a single thing, but the plane flies quite well. Nothing to see. I mean, a bit of wing flex here and there. Nothing to worry about. Even some blue skies. We've got perfect weather out here. Jesus Christ, look at the ocean. Yeah, 18 feet of waves were reported at daytime, which is crazy. We have plane flies. Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got 100 knots around the clock now. <laughs> wow, that's ridiculous. Right, it's interesting to see. I mean, what this plane in real life fall apart? I don't know. We've got a bit of a bank angle there going on. All right, we are a little bit fast. I really have lost all of my everything. I have no idea where I am. Is it a good idea to be hand flying a plane in this kind of state? Not really. Also, my computer is really dying. I mean, these volumetric clouds, they just steal performance. Oh, look at that lightning strike here. But everybody, the, the Mini 737 is keeping up quite well. You know, modern planes, they can withstand quite a bit. It's now up to the pilot if we can land this plane safely. Jesus Christ, look at the water. Noah, get the Ark indeed. Jeez. All right, let's keep the plane steady. We're still alive. Nothing to see. Uh, uh, really nothing to see. Uh, Jesus, okay. Um, let's slow down. Because we are going to be coming in for landing rather soon. Where uh, a runway is waiting for us. Okay. Now, let's uh, slow down, really. Or at least let's try to. We've got literally a hundred knots of headwind. That is crazy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pull up alert. Oh, please don't mess up. I do not see anything. I, it's just gray. All right, Papa Golf Airport is coming close. Very close. Let's already try to... Come on, get down. I want to land this plane now. Maybe this is going to work. You know what? Let's give this a bit of a try. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I do not see anything. Oh, God. All right. Come on. Get down. Get down. All right. Water. I can see water. I can see water. I can see very much water. A lot of water. Oh, just keep going. All right. It just keeps flying. Oh, my. These waves are crazy. How, how are these waves 500 feet above ground? Jeez. Okay. Mm, nothing to see. We've got a runway here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Where is the runway? Where's the runway lights gone? Oh, it's right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't die. Oh, it's gone. 
Hey, let's already gone. Runway lights are gone. Runway lights are gone. Where are, where, where are we? Oh, this is the runway. Okay, never mind. You know, I've never actually been so lost here flying a plane, but I can see a runway now. It's now time to land this. Jesus Christ, how did anyone survive this? 65 knots right now here on final approach. It's now time to... Oh, we can make this. All right. Come on, stop. Slow down. This is survivable. All right, we're kind of Tokyo drifting it along here. Come on, let's get the rush thrust out so we can properly stop. Come on. Yes! What a successful flight here on United Airlines. And then we kind of crashed into the ocean ones. Yes, uh, we did. But that was not really the problem of the weekend. You know, sorry. But everybody, in the end, everything was okay. And the 737 came in for uh, a ride of a landing. I don't know why the landing gear is not here anymore in the replay mode, but there we go. I mean, stop crying. That was safe operation. I mean, look at, by the way, the waves here are right next to the ocean. Let me turn on life weather right now just to see what it looks like at the moment. All right, that's a bit better. I just wonder how the people here are doing, man. See ya, guys! And that is flying in the Hurricane Ian. Again, very severe. I hope everyone out there is doing fine. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night.